As we come on the air at nine, a South Memphis factory is blamed for releasing a chemical into the air that the EPA says can cause cancer for those living tonight in South Memphis. Now there's a legal battle against that company and legal experts are asking people to get on board of a class action lawsuit. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Daniel Wilkerson. Fox 13's Lakia Scott is live in studio tonight. Lakia, you were at that town hall meeting. What came of it? Good evening to you. Good evening, Daniel. The chemical is called ethylene oxide, also known as ETO. A company in South Memphis has been using it to sterilize medical equipment since 1979. Most recently, the EPA found that chemical can lead to cancer diagnoses. Now, South Memphians who live near that plant are being asked to get on board a class action lawsuit against that company. I've had cancer, all right, colon cancer. Uh, not only that, but my nephew, Ricky Wilkins, attorney Ricky Wilkins, which has deceased in the past few weeks, a uh, month or so, uh, had brain cancer. Dozens attended an environmental town hall meeting seeking answers for years of illness they believe may be tied to a chemical being released from a company once operating in South Memphis. And we both had cancer at the same time. Uh, so therefore, and we both was in, living in the South Memphis community. So we just want to come out today to get more information. Sterilization Services of Tennessee closed down just weeks ago. Its operation was at 2396 Florida Street in South Memphis. The company sterilized medical tools. The process used a chemical called ethylene oxide, or ETO. While considered safe and legal for years, the EPA later said it could cause cancer for people exposed to it. Attorneys from Napoli Law and Wampler, Carol, Wilson and Sanderson hosted the town hall inviting Memphians to sign up for a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit filed in February claims multiple offenses, including gross negligence, private and public nuisance, and even wrongful death. The lawsuit states due to exposure to poisoned air plaintiffs have suffered severe injuries, including miscarriages, birth defects, brain cancer, blood cancer, stomach cancer, lymphoma, leukemia, and breast cancer. The suit also says someone died. Let's say if someone has cancer in this area, could you assume, is it a high chance that they got it because of that plant? Yes, we definitely believe that it's strongly more likely than not that this is the cause of these cancers that we've discussed if they're in this area. Now again, the EPA only recently listed the chemical as dangerous after decades of use. The South Memphis Company Sterilization Services of Tennessee closed its operation just a few weeks ago. The legal panel today says the chemical is still in the air today, but should have cleared out by September. That will be the first time the toxin has not been in the air in South Memphis.